reproductive system is designed to carry out several functions. It produces female sex hormones that maintain the reproductive cycle, produces the female egg cells necessary for reproduction called ova, and allows for the nurturing of a fertilized egg so that it may develop into a fetus. Females are born with a fixed number of potential egg cells. After puberty, typically around age 12, these cells are mature enough to sustain life. The cells ripen on a regular basis, but usually only one is released each month until a woman reaches menopause. Menopause commonly begins between the ages of 45 and 55. The main external structures for the female reproductive system include labia majora. The labia majora enclose and protect the other external reproductive organs. These are relatively large and fleshy and are comparable to the scrotum in males. The labia majora contains sweat and all secreting glands. After puberty, the labia majora are covered with hair. Labia minora. This can be very small or up to two inches wide. They lie just inside the labia majora and surround the openings to the vagina and urethra, the tube that carries urine from the bladder to the outside of the body. Bartholin's glands. These glands are located between the vaginal opening and produce a fluid secretion. Clitoris. The two labia minora meet at the clitoris, a small, sensitive protrusion that is comparable to the penis in males. The clitoris is covered by a fold of skin, called the prepuce, which is similar to the foreskin at the end of the penis. Like the penis, the clitoris is very sensitive to stimulation and can become erect. The internal reproductive organs in the female include Vagina The vagina is a canal that joins the cervix, the lower part of the uterus, to the outside of the body. It also is known as the birth canal. Uterus or womb. The uterus is a hollow, pear-shaped organ that is a home to a developing fetus. The uterus is divided into two parts, the cervix, which is the lower part that opens into the vagina, and the main body of the uterus, called the corpus. The corpus can easily expand to hold a developing baby. A channel through the cervix allows sperm to enter and menstrual blood to exit. Ovaries. The ovaries are small, oval-shaped glands that are located on either side of the uterus. The ovaries produce eggs and hormones. Fallopian tubes. These are narrow tubes that are attached to the upper part of the uterus and serve as tunnels for the ova to travel from the ovaries to the uterus. Conception. The fertilization of an egg by a sperm normally occurs in the fallopian tubes. The fertilized egg then moves to the uterus, where it implants into the lining of the uterine wall. Mammary glands. The mammary gland is a gland located in the breasts of females that is responsible for lactation or the production of milk. While pregnant, a woman will go through several internal signs before the typical baby belly begins to show. These signs are the body's reactions to the hormones generated during the fertilization process. As a fetus grows, a woman's body will prepare for the birthing process. The form of delivery can be through vaginal birth or cesarean section.